Don't fart, please. Please don't fart. I did. You're missing it. Stop. Stop farting. I farted three times. Welcome to Drunk Movie Day. I hope everybody's enjoying their day or night or whatever. Got a little goofy last night. Now I'm feeling the effects. But the show must go on, you know? <laughs> okay! Great guest today. So funny. I've known her for a long time. I'm so lucky to have her today. She flew in all the way from LA to do other shows. So now she's going to be here with me. The one, the only, Steph Tolov. How are you? Hello. Hi. Sir. Hi. Got my Caesar. You got a Caesar there? Mother's milk. Are you going to tell me that you're hungover too? I'm not well. I'm not stand sit well. Do that. I want to be sprayed like a little bad kitty. Is that on your Tinder profile? I'm a bad cat. No. My Tinder profile says uh, I'm Chris Farley with better tits. <laughs> It's not working. <laughs> Isn't that, is that funny? So how are you feeling today? I feel like shit. I feel like butts. I did a lot of shots. I did a lot of... I, I ate a bottle of ranch. I love that you guys have uh, free ranch. The whole thing, Ooh. eh? Off every finger. Did you put hot sauce on too? Yes, I put it on like sauce. You couldn't even taste. You couldn't even taste the pizza. Right? <laughs> it was just sauce. Basically, the pizza became a plate for your ranch. It was. <laughs> yeah, I don't watch a lot of movies. You don't, go to, you don't go to the movies that much. No, not really. Hollywood Boulevard's the most disgusting place in the entire world. I'm not flying on all cylinders no, today. You know what? I'm not well. What are we watching? Let's. What are we... <laughs> so today, because we are both very hungover, mm -hmm. I have decided to not force us to go to the movie theater because human interaction at this point would be a terrible thing. Idea. The last time we interacted with a human, you split up. <laughs> I literally split. Split alcohol with a stranger. I didn't think I puked in my mouth. But, oh. And you puked in your mouth, so who knows what's <sighs> going to happen? So today's new movie release for like home video. So I thought we would watch like a new home release and be drunk movie okay. hungover day. Boo doo doo dee doo doo. Mm -hmm. Still drink though yeah. and get weird. Yeah, I mean. We're still drinking. <laughs> we, I mean. We're not going to quit. I, <laughs> All right. Well, then today we're going to see Pirates of the Caribbean 5. There's five of them? I haven't even seen one. Just came out on... DVD? Is that still a thing, DVD? Yeah, Blu-ray. I don't trust a person who would buy a DVD at like a Best Buy still. Hello, <laughs> here's one copy of Pirates of the Caribbean 5 on DVD, please. I'm going home to kill myself during this. Yeah. Thank you. Ugh. Wait, no, I need to plug my nose. To need, drinking I the I, pain I, I, away. <laughs> Cheers, bud. That's literal hell. You have a Caesar mustache. <laughs> No, that's my real mustache, sir. <laughs> <gasps> we'll see you in a bit, I guess. I might be sick. Oh, monkey. I'm not looking for trouble. What a horrible way to live. I'm a drunk pirate. Jack Sparrow. Jack Sparrow, I'm drunk pirate. Did it blow you away? It was... Way too long. Yeah, over two I've hours. I've never over watched something this long with these peepers in my life. <laughs> give me the, give me like the four beats. Like, give me what the movie's about. You start with uh, the compass. Yep, yeah, you got a compass. You got a guy and a girl that meet because they're looking for the same thing. Mm -hmm. Then there's a bunch of fight scenes, bunch of weirdness, a lot of ships. Real long fight scenes. A lot of water. A lot of that one scene. The scene with the ship, the house getting pulled to the... Yeah, they attach uh, ropes to a safe in a bank yeah. and pull it by a couple of horses. I think about six horses. And, and they don't even look like strong horses. Oh, they're not yeah. the ones that you see jumping over you those things. good Clydesdale. They are not Clydesdales. They look like... Rough and tumblers are the ones that they take the whole house with them. And they take the whole house and they just run with ease. The strongest horses very ever. Very simple running. Yeah. Very yeah, simple. like a light trot. trot. Very light trots. So that's the first huge action scene that takes... Uh, I'd say 30 minutes. 30 minutes yeah. of just ridiculousness yeah. of... We're Jack Sparrow. <laughs> I, a lot of, like, a little mugging. Fucking yeah. Johnny Depp, oh. man. Shit. It's like a velvet couch. So what's more It's microfiber. 120 on Craigslist. Really? Feels like 240. Jack Sparrow's drunk right now. Jack Sparrow? I don't know who's worse at doing an impression of Jack Sparrow, me or you. <laughs> We're doing like a Scottish I'm Jack Sparrow. 
I would love to have seen one dick. <laughs> I would love Disney out of nowhere to just show the tip just of Jack Sparrow's dick for no reason. <laughs> he was drunk. He would have whipped it out at some point. Just a whisper of the tip. Just I bet Johnny Depp has a real dirty dick, too. I feel like, I feel like it's clean, but it also has eyeliner on it. <laughs> like his eyes... In every scene of the movie. He just, uh, around the TV's outlines of like thick, heavy black eyeliner. Uh, around the ring of his <laughs> yeah, dick. Yeah. So yeah, they're looking for a compass that will find them the trident in the sea. Mm-hmm. And when they find the trident in the sea, it'll break all the curses of the sea. Strong. Yeah. And, and the it. main guy is the son of Orlando Bloom's character from the first few movies. And he's trying to rescue his dad. He's cute, though. I gotta, oh, I, God. Well, you know, I've already learned how old he is, because I can't talk about him until I, I know. he's 19. How old. He's not 19. He I must to, be. Can I look him up? I have to look him Steph up. Steph got real aroused by this young boy. Well, no, when he was the boy. When he was the young they, man. And I quote, she said, ooh, mother's milk. I did say that, and that's, that I wasn't me spilling a drink. Brenton Thwaites. <laughs> Bad name. That's turning me off. It really is. He's 28. Oh, now I can talk about him. He's 28. <laughs> Brendan, if you're watching this, I'll tell you one thing. I'll put eyeliner on your dick if you want me to. He's daddy's little pirate boy. He's daddy's little baby. He wants me to kiss his dick. I'm going to kiss his little dick. There's no shower on the ships. But you're surrounded by ocean. You just hop in and wash your... your... <laughs> you, just put, you just put just the tip in the sea? Just let's see if you have dick in the seat. Peel back, because I'm sure they're all... Sort of, the drunk movie acting is the worst type of acting. It's really bad. He was just, like, flopping around town. The whole movie is Johnny Depp falling into situations and then falling out of them. Yeah, he literally... The whole movie was based around him being too drunk, yeah. giving up the compass. Then the dead people came up because he needed a bottle of moonshine. That was the whole... That's the whole movie. Cheers, yeah. Johnny Depp! Cheers! Cheers! Cheers, Johnny Depp! The bad guy's played by Javier Bardem, who only plays grade A creeps in movies. And his mouth had way too much blood in it the whole time. Come on, I knew I didn't want it, it's still in there! Where's the next bottle? Well, now I don't feel bad about coming on your couch from watching that young boy. <laughs> He's 28! Some random pirates try to force Johnny Depp to marry their gross Oh, daughter. that was just a mean thing for that woman. Yeah, of course. Uh, the audition, like, that, I feel yeah, like I would go out for that audition. What would the audition be like? I would go out for that. They'd be like, fat, gross <laughs> woman. And I'd get there and go, got the part. And i go, I, I was just delivering pops. I'm not even working here. <laughs> delivering pops? <laughs> I, work, Is that your job? I work at the vending machine. I'm delivering pops. Or you work in the vending machine? I'm in the, I you live in the vending machine. You just reach out your hand with the pop and go, here you go. That'd be a fun prank. To sit in the vending machine all day and just hand people shit? I guarantee it's been done. Well, not anymore because I'm It's gonna definitely be the first just one for to do laugh it. gag. Ba-da, ba, ba da Hey, da 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 da. <laughs> How Johnny Depp, that's what he always looks like in this movie. Like he didn't even, he wasn't even. Yeah, wearing... those are all trinkets he brought from home. <laughs> he brought his crystals. I really enjoyed the scene where they showed how Johnny Depp's character got all of his trinkets as if somebody was wondering. Yeah. I was like, I really enjoy the Pirates of the Caribbean series, but I'd like to know the origin story of all the fucking doohickeys that he wears. <laughs> sluice? No reason. What does that mean? What is sluice? S L E U S. Slurs? What is wrong with your handwriting? Look, this is how my father writes. This is how I write it. That's not an down excuse. From generation to generation. I don't think you inherit handwriting. You inherit your dad's penis either way if you want to or not. This is a very dick heavy episode. Jesus Christ. The bald woman. Oh, that was a fun one. Uh, there's a bald yeah, witch. Yeah, yeah. They have to establish that she's a gross witch, so the first thing they show her doing is pouring just a cup of green goo. It looked like the goo from Uh oh. Yeah, yeah. Hey, or you can't do good. that on can't do that on television. But she just poured a, a cup of goo and then she's we, like, and then "Tea? Like, Would you like some tea?" Excuse me. The gross woman. Gross I feel that like that. Woman. I feel like the outline for that was literally like disgusting woman, overweight, homely. Must have mouth sores. <laughs> Must have psoriasis yeah. severely to book this part. Must have accidentally given birth on the toilet. Hey! I had the hay in to make it more fun. So the movie was fu- not good. No, it wasn't good. What would you give it? Out of 10 eyeliner rings on Johnny Depp's <laughs> dick, what would you give it? I'd probably give it... Uh, 
I was kind of into it at some points. I'd maybe give it a three and a half. Okay. Can I do halves? We'll do halves. They did set up sequels, though, because at the end, Orlando Bloom and Kara Knightley just show up for no reason. Out of nowhere. That, that was the funniest part ever, where you see this ship, he looks through a peephole. What's the thing's called? Looks through a telescope, sees a ship, and then all of a sudden he's like, oh, and then all of a sudden his dad appears on the grass. I'm like, that's just funny. Orlando Bloom showed up, loves touching his son's face oh, a lot. very creepy with his son. Yeah. Loves his son. Give daddy a kiss. I'm just kidding. Right the lips. Real light lip kiss with a 28-year-old son. Stanley lip kiss. How do you end these normally? <laughs> Who the fuck still goes to Johnny Depp movies? Do people still Only like him? Only Johnny Depp. Hey, ow! A global scale. A geostorm.